here on the show, Jonathan Chung is here, and you always bring in an ingredient. Good morning, my darling. Uh, this morning we are using ginger, ginger in ways that you would not necessarily, you know, think of using ginger. There are so many ways you can use ginger. It's very versatile yes. and extremely healthy for you. And we're Do you have problems like indigestion? Sometimes. Shall we tell the people at home? Or are you asking? Let's go into, to let's go into detail. Let's no. <laughs> Let's talk instead about the fact that we can use it in all sorts of like the holidays are coming. We're going to get to a great holiday recipe, but you can also start your day off with ginger as well. We can start off our day with ginger. It's actually great to start off the day. It just helps kind of everything flow. Flow. <laughs> um, yes. Now, what I like to do is I like to get a little bit, you can get either uh, some vanilla yogurt or plain yogurt and drizzle in a little bit of honey. Mm -hmm. We're going to get a little bit of fresh ginger. I'm going to get you to try this. Okay. Peeling ginger can always sometimes be a little bit tricky. Yes. Take uh, the ginger, fresh piece of ginger spoon, and all you have to do is scrape the skin right off. Oh, wow. With a spoon, you just scrape. Just like that. Very, very simple. I love ginger. No yeah. wastes. Okay. Easy. We're going to take a little bit of fresh ginger on the microplane grate it in, and you only need a little bit of fresh ginger, okay? Yeah. Just like that. Uh, and we got the, the sweetness from the honey in here. Put that in. I also have a little bit of candy ginger. Ooh. Just for a little bit of texture. Yeah. All right, so we've got that, and then what we'll do is we'll just layer it inside our bowls here. So gi fresh ginger, candy gi ginger, yogurt, and now we've got these and little And we've got amaretti. a little bit of crushed amaretti cookies, Ooh. just like that. And then we're gonna get some strawberries that we're just gonna put in like so. So healthy and amazing uh, breakfast and with then, ginger. And then uh, throughout the day, you can make a little bit of pot roast. Yes, pot this roast, is, very this simple. Is a, this is very, I never, I never thought to use the ginger on the pot roast. So what do you marinate Pot it? roast, nice old school dish, yeah. very comforting for winter time. What I did is I just braised it in lots of ginger, some orange, some vegetables that you have kicking around, a little bit of red wine. You cook that for about three hours in the oven. And it, uh, it comes out beautiful and tender and wow. tasty and very aromatic because of the ginger. I sometimes put ginger in a bavette too in a marinade and it works out delicious, really good. Delicious, delicious. All right, this, dessert. We have uh, chocolate gingerbread cake. Okay. So this, so this is like a soft gingerbready kind of cake that mm -hmm. we just put on some, uh, some chocolate ganache, a little bit of candy ginger, Great for the end of a meal to help you digest lots of ginger, you know. You're the emphasis again. here being in the digestion. You keep saying this. Ginger good for digestion. It's not just that. It's good for many, many things. Yeah, many, but it also tastes things. delicious. And also, the holidays are here and the, the kids, and big kids and little kids alike, the gingerbread house. This is a little bit more complicated. This, is, this one is a little bit more yeah. complex. We decided to make a little bit of a village and with the, with the uh, gummy bears are, yeah, and everything. Yeah, these are gingerbread, basically, cookies. They're, they're just laying them on the sheets. a big gingerbread cookie that we, we had molds for. We baked it, a little bit of snow, marshmallow as a base, uh, candy canes. This I, is going to sit around in the store. If you want it, you can come by and check it, check it out. At Appetite for Books, Appetite yes. Appetite for Books. Because the thing is, is that it's too beautiful for us to break apart and eat here. Again, Jonathan Chung, thank you so much for joining us. This is, I think, next level ginger cooking. We can cook, we can make these. <laughs> I can do the yogurt You can thing. easily make this. Or, you know what you can do is come by the store. I think we're going to be raffling this off to raise money for a good cause. You can come by the store and maybe you can take it home close to Christmas. And then you can eat it. And then you can break it apart. All right, Appetite for Books, Jonathan Chung, thank you so much for joining us. Happy holidays. Thanks for having me. All right.